I'm Jessica Denae Early Cha for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Last week was Firebase Summit, where we announced a bunch of cool stuff. The emulator suite now includes support for authentication. You can also use a new auth emulator to run integration tests. Our latest update to Firebase hosting, preview channels, lets you see your changes before publishing them to your site. We've shared a preview of our alpha program called Detect Online Presence, which shows you which users or devices are currently online and stores that in Cloud Firestore. We've redesigned the performance monitoring dashboard, which makes it clear if one of your critical metrics needs attention so you can take action. It's customizable, allowing you to bring that metrics you care about most up to the forefront. For all the announcements and details from the Firebase Summit, check out the blog post linked in the description or by swiping up on Instagram. Also in Firebase, we encourage you to migrate your apps from the Fabric SDK to the Firebase Crashlytics SDK. On November 15th, we'll be sunsetting the legacy Fabric SDK, meaning apps that are still using the Fabric SDK will no longer report crashes. Check out the post for more on our improvements to the Firebase Crush Linux SDK, as well as the upgrade guide. We're excited to announce a new version of our Cloud Shell Editor, which provides you with command line access to your cloud resources directly from your browser. The new version is immediately available in preview. This new version extends the Cloud Shell with an online development environment that includes cloud native development via cloud code plugin support, rich language support for Go, Java, .NET, Python, and Node.js, and additional features such as integrated source control and support for multiple projects. Check out the post for more interactive tutorials and a quick start guide and more. In Chrome 86, we've expanded our efforts to improve the quality of web notification ecosystem by adding enforcements for websites saying abusive notification content. Once detected on origin, Chrome will automatically display the permission request using a quieter UI. Check out the post to see what the new UI looks like and what steps it takes if abusive notifications are detected on your site. Apps, Games, and Insights Series 2 is now out, and the series includes eight new episodes, bringing you more stories and insights behind some of the leading businesses in the app and game industries. This week's episode is talking about how to green up your games and how gaming companies are raising awareness of climate change through their games. Subscribe to stay tuned for other topics such as app-based learning, pivoting in times of crisis, product inclusivity, building quality apps, going from PC to mobile gaming, amongst others. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Jessica for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Sorry, my dog just started digging under the bed. Hey, River. Shh. Thank you. Bye. Okay.